Hey, uh, I'm Rue Campbell. I'm Microsoft MVP and Security Architect at Threatscape. I want to show you something not enough Defender for Endpoint customers are making sure is enabled, and that's tamper protection. We see the defense evasion tactic constantly during cyber incidents, and this is where tamper protection comes in as part of defense in depth by blocking, disabling Defender antivirus or performing other circumventions using PowerShell, registry, group policy. So let's have a look at it in action. Tamper protection can be enabled using Intune, which allows us to target it to groups of devices. Or better still, we can use the Microsoft 365 Defender portal to enable it globally. We do this by going to Settings, Endpoints, Advanced Features, and then if we scroll through the list of those features, you'll find Tamper Protection, and here we can see it is enabled. I'm here on a PC that does not have Tamper Protection enabled. We can use PowerShell to confirm that, and we can actually see that it has been explicitly disabled using the Windows Security user interface. This means an attacker can run commands such as disable real-time monitoring and set exclusions, which I'll run. And then I can look at the effect of that, and we can see that real-time monitoring has been disabled and an exclusion has been set for the entire C drive, which is not a place we want to be. Now on a PC that does have tamper protection enabled, we can confirm that by seeing the tamper protection source is set to ATP, so it's coming from Microsoft 365 Defender. And should an attacker try to disable protections, in this case I'll use PowerShell, we can confirm that those do not take place and the device remains protected.